flat at the top. So let's start with that, see if we can get that right. How well this is going to work, but let's give it a try. Ah, okay, that's interesting. You can't put ladders on glowstone. how this is going to work but they'll find out every chance this will look utterly horrible and I'll be taking it down in just a minute but let's see how it looks Sparkly angel at the top of the tree. No, I don't like that. I'm almost so young that people believe her when she says she's 20, 25, and I'm very confused when she says she has a 16 year old daughter. I don't know. It's probably a good idea to have a spare. I don't know. Yeah, just in case. You can send them in to be repaired from time to time. Hmm. My mother gave birth to me when she was 19, and uh, well, at least when we were, well, probably now even, um, we were occasionally con uh, confused as being brother and sister. I'm not entirely certain it's because my mum looks so good or I look so worn, but it's one or the other. Not to fall off the top this time. Let's get rid of that. Let's put some spruce there. Now bit more even it doesn't hopefully it won't look over to one side yeah okay that looks a bit better yeah I gotta be honest with you I only had the one and I look about five years older than I'm supposed to so I can believe that now, I mean seven kids I mean that is that is either dedication or not learning your lesson one or the other excuse me need a drink <sighs> see what that does look it look, does look like let's get some hit points back as well Okay, I admit I'm warming to that. 
What do you guys think? Angel at the top of the tree. If that doesn't appeal to you guys, I'm going to change it to a star. And please feel free to say you think it's horrible. Okay, sure. Yeah, it's 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 slightly off. It's because the tree is actually even. Oh, see about, see about. Who? Oh, oh, there you are. Okay. Let's see if we can get out of here. Yeah, I think I'm going leaning towards the star. <laughs> yes, there's all this unilluminated stuff out here. This is basically as far as the village has ever gone. So this area, as you can see, is basically just a pile of creeper explosions. Those bones. Thank you. Yeah, let's make a star out of it. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, even the road ends here. Yeah, I think. Let's try that one, and then if if it still looks a bit odd, and I'm still thinking it looks a bit odd, we'll go with the star. And I have an idea for star, which might be nice, might not, we'll see. Sorry guys, I don't want to feed you, I don't want any little dogs at the moment. Why I'm here is I want a silk touch pick for this, I think. <laughs> the gullen looks like a llama from here. No, no, I'm sorry. If the chickens are going to evolve into gulls and then into llamas, I mean, that is just worrying. Let's get up here. Get the actress to the bishop. Cut those arms off. Don't think that's what the actress said that. Oh dear, I need to repair both of those. Hmm. Grab those, that glowstone, because that stuff is expensive. First off, go and have a quick look at it. Nope, it now looks like a cruise missile. Let's go back to the drawing board on that one.
<laughs> I see somebody is really getting into the Christmas spirit here. Hey, Andy. Let's take this all down because it's not working right. And go back to the drawing board. That's okay, got all that. Okay, Frankie, well, thanks for coming along, and yeah, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. If not, have a nice Christmas, and we'll see you probably in the new year. All right, okay, let's try something here. I'm going to try, I saw um, a star that Maroka did on the Strange Land server, and I thought it was rather good, so I'm going to give that a little try, see how that looks. Do that, I'm going to nearly get some glass panes. That door and lag do not go well together. I have a tiny little tree, it's about one foot tall, and it's got a tiny little string of lights around it, and it's exactly what uh, suits my needs. No, if I, if I give them a bone, we end up with puppies, and uh, I want you guys to actually just have a look around my little cottage, okay? I don't think we could actually take a third dog, and definitely not a fourth one. So, those guys are going to have to wait until I make a, a larger private build outside of the spawn village before we get uh, puppies. Yep, cats are absolutely fantastic at that. And when you come down to it, it's the Christmas tree's fault for looking so inviting to a cat. All it needs is uh, floating red dots and it would be completely irresistible. Right, okay, so how are we going to do this? Glass, uh, stone. <laughs> oh, you would be absolutely amazed at just exactly how much chaos one single catch can cause. Um. Okay, that's uh think here. Well, cats are absolutely fantastic. I've owned both cats and dogs and cats in many ways are by far the more enjoyable. Do it like that. Oh, actually, this this is has possibilities. Do it like that. Then uh, 
don't know how well this is going to work, but this might actually do so. Oh, I think both pets have their advantages and disadvantages, to be honest with you. Um, you know, a dog is, you know, let's be honest with you, a dog is actually a far friendlier creature but is far more demanding on your time. And if you're living in a city and it's very hard to walk, a cat is an easier pet to have. And like, yeah, they're affectionate their own way. Oh, I've done that twice now. Do these first. <laughs> no, you didn't miss much. I'm still playing around with this uh this star at the top of the tree. Yeah. Um, there was a study recently that showed that cats recognize their name, but choose not to react to it. So they are both clever enough to uh, uh, recognize that you're talking to them, that you want their attention, and also stubborn enough to think, nah. Hmm. That looks a bit better, I think. I've had a number of dogs over the years. I had a, a Jack Russell Terrier, which was uh, by far my favourite dog. I, I grew up with that guy, and you know we got him when I was five. Um, but as a teenager, after I left home, I, I was I rented a room of a guy who owned two boxer dogs, and they worked out that I learned I knew how to open tins. So come breakfast time, when their owner had uh, gone to work or whatever. They'd come and wake me up and they do it by coming into my bedroom and sticking their heads underneath the blankets and pressing their noses lovingly against my leg. <sighs> I don't know about you guys, but <sighs> I think to be totally honest with you, boxers have the coldest noses of any dogs in existence. And having one of them apply to your leg at least the first half dozen times got me from restfully asleep to clawing the ceiling in blind panic in about a millisecond. Cold nose. Yes, incredibly cold nose. All right, let's actually make this more look more like a star than a cross. And... Hmm, actually, quite like this. Oh. 
I will work out what I want to do. They were absolutely wonderful dogs, very, very, very affectionate, very gentle, very calm animals. Um, one of them managed to eat a CD once. And this was back in the days when CDs were actually quite rare. And the amazing thing was we put it in the CD player and the thing worked. Okay, I think I'm starting to get an idea. Yes, that will work nicely. Okay. Assuming I don't plummet to my death while doing it, that will work nicely. Uh, different dogs, different temperatures. And I think, to be totally honest with you, uh, a nose applied to one's leg at 6 o'clock in the morning is a hell of a lot colder than a nose applied any other time of the day. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere now. So I'm a tiny bit stuck to the thought of how we're going to do the top, but we'll get there. <laughs> uh, could be a lot worse there mine used to claw my leg mm. uh, and do it in an affectionate manner but it's clawing the one's leg nonetheless Get rid of some of this wood. Right, okay, and let's do the top. <laughs> yes! The deal was, yes, we will make you food, you stop scratching my leg. Oh yes, that's working better.
Now that I can totally agree with. There is there is no call to abuse an animal. It's just exercising sick power for sick power's sake. That looks better. Tiny bit more like a disco ball than a star, but I think it's going to do, especially within the time constraints. As you probably tell, there's absolutely no planning gone into this whatsoever. This is all completely at a whim. Yeah, I'd say that looks reasonably like a star. <laughs> 